Um, this is uh, about the second week of June. This traditional time to do greenwood budding, greenwood grafting. I'm not sure which is which, but we're only using one bud with leaf attached. We'll leave it on green. So I guess I've been used to calling it graft. But we'll pick out a pretty mature bud and um, we'll get it prepared. On the back side from the bud, you make a cut not quite half through. I usually like to get into the pith area, and the pith area should not be chambered up. It should be at, at the stage of growth that uh, is uh, still somewhat undifferentiated into the the organ tissue of the of the central pith um, ideally you want that as straight as possible we'll cut back some of this Now we'll, I like to have a little, I, I perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps would like to get that up as straight as possible. We'll pick out a nice straight flat spot on the, on the tree and make a in, incision, a straight incision that's going to yep. line up with one side of our of our uh, graft then I kind of trace out yeah. a little bit of where that's gonna go I guess about where the bud and and leaf is going to pop out of there. I make a cut. Make a cut right across the middle so you can pull the bark down and push pull the bark up. And this this gets well, it just cut gets clear out. Oh, I see. We'll freshen up the sides of the graft just a little bit. Make contact with the uh, sides of the... Some extra cambium on the... Yeah. yeah, I don't know if all this is necessary, but... Why not? That's the way it was showed to me, so... I go up a little bit to maybe about where I think the top of the graft is going to go. I freshen that up. Same here. Nice green pith. Yep. By golly, Gary, fits like a gem. Now, it really does. I've used everything. I've used rubber bands, and I may have some in there, but we're going to use my old standby. I usually have a roll of electrician's tape in my pocket, and that's kind of the red-green method, I guess. And I, I try to 
not go over this or force it too much. Most people use budding rubbers and there is some uh, other materials. Uh, but you're going to keep that tape on until next spring? I, I do. Yeah. Now, I have never done it, but I've really thought that at times that if I covered this area as best I could with aluminum foil, that would be good. That'd be a good but generator. I, I really have never done that. Okay. Why not? I got some aluminum tape here. We might try it on this one. Just uh, this is really helps to generate callus. So we're going to cover that butt up. Don't have to worry about anything else. Now I will use I'll take this and if I have to fold it back or whatever I have to do I usually put this inside of a, a baggie. That's a greenhouse. And if you come back to this in about two weeks, this may be still green. I mean, it's pot, I've had it do that. But most of the time, this bud will die back. I mean, this... Uh, the petiole the leaf, or the stem. The, the, yeah, the stem and the leaf will, will die back. And sometimes it'll fall clear off. And then you can look so in there. So it's a good thing if it turns black or if it's a, not uh, it's, a good... It's not a good thing if it turns black, but it... it, it because it is with Japanese maples and other types of grafting similar like this. Well, yeah. And walnut is what they traditionally do this with. English walnut it works very well with. Japanese heart nuts, mm. butternuts, walnuts. It, it works pretty well. And especially like with English walnuts, if you can set the bud, sometimes you get a, a foot or so of growth. And then you can get it through the winter. I've got some examples of that in Monmouth that I could show you. They've grown a good maybe two feet right now from from where they were this spring that I budded last year. So two weeks. It'll and th this this bud then should fall off in that mat that. That bud inside would be mature. So the bud doesn't fall off the stem, should it? And if you want to force it this year, you're going to need to go to some extra measures <laughs> to get it to do that, like either cut this off or... Cut the top of the tree or off. Something, something of that nature. Now, we can actually set another one right in here. Maybe we'll just do that and then... Uh, Okay, so again, after two weeks, this stem right here, it should still be green. Well, it... it how do you know that the graft took? Normally, after two it weeks? pops off of there, the graft it, took. Right? Yeah, it, if, if... what pops off? Th this that stem, if that it, video. If That's it, what I thought. Yeah. If it won't come off, if it's stuck on there, it died and... It's glued it's, in there. Yeah, and it's holding yeah. on to the yeah. stock. Uh, that's but, what I thought. And, yeah. But if right. it pops off of there, uh, and it will die, but I have actually had them stay green. And, and it took. Yeah, yeah, and it took. Yeah, mm. it seemed reasonable that it would, maybe. And this is right here next to the graft that Bill set in the previous year. And I, I suppose we could like everything else we could have picked a better place to, to grow one permanently but we'll be glad to get one going wherever it is yeah this is the the hark and we will label that as such 
this is uh, uh, aluminum duct tape and you can draw on it and it's a fairly good temporary tag nothing beats a good stamped tag <laughs> yeah. no yeah right on put 621 on I, i'll probably remember that these are the longest day of the year yep 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 you're right it is, it is. my favorite right yeah Forgot to stand an egg up this morning. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stand an egg up. <laughs> the equinox. That's oh. Supposed, that's, yeah. 21st of December, 21st of June. Yep. My birthday is December 21st. Oh. Oh. Mine's My dad March always. March 21st. <laughs> <laughs> that's an equinox. It's an in between the equinox. equinox. The vernal. Yeah. Getting a tag on it here. If you're ever trying to cipher my tags, I, I try to underline them so I know what the name was. Uh, this tape, this is a tape, and it'll stick together. And I put it on there in more than one place because the deer aren't very cheap. They will choose the worst possible place to, yep. to chew it up. They will do that. I try to hide it then. Sneaky I had bastards. One. I sat already this spring. They come down there and grab that tag, and you could mm. just see where they twisted it. Mm, yeah. There'll be, there'll yeah. Be one on this tonight. Guarantee you. They follow no you around, don't they, and smell out what you're doing. <laughs> They'll eat stuff right out. Stuff Do you have another video. tree to want to you want to graft down I don't anywhere have another in the area? No. No, I don't have another stock. All right, Greenwood Bud, done mid-June. There you go.